Jesse, we need to talk. I'm sorry, but version three of you is not riding today. It'll be okay though. <laughs> what is up guys? Uh, day two, three, second video of Hollywood. You suck at math. That's how I should put it. Third day here. Steven got his machine all situated, welded up. Like I said in the previous video, make sure you go check out their videos. Uh, Cause they're gonna be, they're shooting for this too. And they'll probably have more on the repair than what I got. Lou's machine with all the stuff he's done is just working great. He's beating the shit out of it. And it's just, it's just finally working good. So happy to see that. The Turbo R, and what's funny is as we're kind of, as I get this, and I start showing YouTube land and social media land. It's right as the 25s drop. So yeah. uh, right off the bat, personally, I'm happy with this. I, I'm i not worried about the 25. It's just body panels. And I personally like how this looks better. So I'm good with it. And if you guys aren't aware, I was talking about the 25 drop. That is a thing. This is the last year for the Turbo R. This is it. So I got the last model year. 25s, they're gonna have the Pro XP, the Pro S, and the Pro R. So Pro S is now the Turbo R. Same suspension, different body panels. I think some of them have heated cool seats, but uh, you know, I'll take the Turbo R. You know what they say about the Pro S? You can't spell prostitute without Pro S, right? I think, uh, I think different tires will help this machine a lot, trailing arms, for stuff like this, the harder stuff. I mean, you can bash your way through some of it, but uh, there are limitations. But uh, yeah, we're just seeing how it hangs with built machines, and uh, I'm happy with it, that's for sure. Steph, still getting used to the turbo. I mean, I guess I'm still getting used to this. We're, uh, we're both, you know, feeling the machines out, letting the machines feel us out. Uh, yeah, it, it's uh, having the turbo machine is definitely a different world for her. I'll show you guys these tonight using these Novsite lights uh, in the trails at night. It was just pouring rain, so couldn't get it on film, but they are bright. So maybe tonight I'll go down the road, find a trail just to show you guys because they're pretty impressive and the little amber halo just looks awesome dudes just doing dude things i will catch back up with you guys when we're on our trail because uh, that's next again don't really know what we're hitting It's pretty fitting that I'm here since I pretty much grew up in Hollywood as a child actor. So this is a natural fit for me. So next up, Tipsy Rock. Uh, Steven said there's some, I think there's some views. A decent climb up to it. So we're gonna go check that out.
Tipsy Rock. We made it. That was a fun climb, but we think that's it. That's the Tipsy Rock. So 
I know on camera this looks flat because I'm looking through the screen and it looks flat as shit, but this is pretty f gnarly. And uh, the kicker with this, Lou had no brakes. So, uh, yeah. Right, Lou? Right. How are your brakes on that? Fucked on brakes. Just like I don't need ramps, I don't need brakes. Yeah, it's, it throws you in uneasy ways coming down this. I have no clue what this is either. This is still all water running from that mud hole. It's a little bit later now. Uh, a few things happen that are not on camera. Uh, sprinkles blew a hydraulic line on the uh, steering. So they were able to get her machine back. We ate some lunch and uh, before it gets dark, we're going back out. We're gonna hit trail 46, which is the one from the last video that Lou was trying to get up in the uh, pouring rain and just couldn't quite get up. So uh, we're going back to uh, check that out. This is the part that Lou was stuck on. slowly back, I'm Steph's gonna come up and see what it feels like. It's a, uh, it's a gnarly one. You got any? She didn't never stop. Oh, I don't. We said, does anyone want to come try it? And you came up. Oh. We got Jeremy, 24 Turbo R. He's gonna give his attempt to 46. Several of us have tried. Several of us has not have not made it, but uh, we'll see what happens. He just had to move that rock out of the way. That was the problem.
Radius rod's hitting you. What? That was a radius rod. Hell yeah. Yep. He let off. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Back it up. Call it, Jeremy. Just keep going slow. There you go. Bring it down. Not worth it, man. Ride the ruts, buddy. Uh, no, that's uh... It's gnarly. It looks easier down there. Yeah. Like I had a plan and it, it's just slick. It's rough. It's f rough. Uh, I mean, I think the Zillas have the best chance. Oh, for sure. Yeah, these are not great. Yep. All right, well, we tried. Yeah. Put our tires on it. Yep. That's the second time I've had to back down this f***ing hill. Oh, man. What a bummer. Uh, also, while we're backing down, a backup break. Uh, I don't know if we caught it on camera, but now Lou is up against a tree and a machine because he has no brakes. And he's in a terrible spot to have no brakes. Much, much, much later. Uh, I figured since we're here, we have access to uh, dark spaces. Uh, I'd come out here and show you guys the Nov Sight lights. Uh, since it's me with Nov Sight lights on the Turbo R, Steph has them on the Pro XP. Uh, we'll show you the different options, uh, just so you can see. I try to show you in my neighborhood, but it's not the same as being out in the woods where it's just dark. Well, my light turned on, but for example, the light doesn't go very far, and it's just darkness out here. So, uh, we'll show you the different no sight lights. So here's the Cyber 3s. That's just the outer white ring. There's the outer amber ring. Now these do give off light, obviously, but they're not the super bright one. Uh, there's, I'll turn those on now. Okay, back to the phone. GoPro's not working. Uh, I never really did aim these and I actually forgot to tighten them so they move around. But uh, they're bright. This is no headlights. Guess we can point this one up a bit too. And yeah, you can see that tree line now. So this is back to nothing except for the flashlight on the phone, as you can see here. Uh, and then that's the headlights, that's the brights. And it doesn't even reach that tree line. So here's the brights and the cyber threes and now you hit that tree line so real nice so now do the first one stuff okay. and these will be a little brighter because they are dirty but these are the cyber ones so this is just headlights now the cyber ones and these aren't really facing up we have these facing out to each side give her more coverage and then the new ones here these are the ones where by the push of a button you can change them to amber from the white uh, like that and that's kind of how it illuminates I think they need to be up more but the problem is my ghetto system here they're maxed out so that's about as far as we can go right now switch it back to white they're they're little but they're bright and now try both oh, oh. <laughs> well yeah now do the old ones too so that's all no sight lights there for hers yeah they don't definitely don't shine as far yeah 
Yeah, those definitely have a stronger beam, for sure. But the price points are, there's a significant difference from these to these. And then those top ones do strobe. That might be too much seizure. The amber, they're money and dust and rain. They they really help. Uh, Steph was using them yesterday. I was using mine yesterday too, but it's hard to film in a downpour and have usable footage. So it's unfortunate, but um, I did these installations and we it just never worked out getting into true darkness. So we were able to here, so. I wanted to show you guys this. If you want lights like this, uh, we do have code Hagger from Novesite. We have a link in the description below for these. Uh, check that out. So that's it down a tight trail. That's headlights. That's the hot lights. Big ass difference. Jesse, since you like to sleep on trailers, here you go. 